All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to replace the ABS module or ABS block on the Mark IV BR6. Should be the same for most of them if the airbox is right here. So you can kind of see it right there. So first you're going to do is uh, undo those Phillips. And then next we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. That 10 mil. And then there's another 10 mil hiding right there. So we'll go ahead and pull those and then your new channel locks to take that off and you'll disconnect the math. Alright, so once you get those undone and this and that, go ahead and pull the top of the air box off. Pull your filter out. what it looks like about the filter and so since all the bolts are replaced be able to pull this out gently and the air box is out now that the air box is out we have excess there's the auxiliary water pump um, and the main thing we're doing right here which is this which is the ABS block so there's four screws, or sorry, four nuts holding it on. There's one, two, three, and then there's a fourth one. All right, so after we remove those three, which like I said is right there, and then there's two underneath, uh, we're gonna start disconnecting the ABS lines, <coughs> the brake lines. Uh, one thing you would know is brake fluid does eat paint so be careful with where it goes. Um, I'm gonna put a couple of rags underneath just to kind of catch it. Um, but in order to do this, you'll need the uh, 11 millimeter line wrench. Just makes it so you don't round those out, which you really don't want to do. All right, so once you get it out, here's the new one, here's the old one. Just kind of double check, make sure everything's the same. And then another thing I did so you have a paint pen, I labeled them just with a little hash mark for one, two, three, and four, and so on. So I'd, <clears throat> it's a good idea to do that so you don't get confused on where they went. I mean, they should only fit one way, but. Also what helps is getting this out of the way right here. So all you do is you'll look above right here and then you'll just push this little tab in and pull it straight out. It gets it out of the way so you have more room to move the wrench. 